Black Cat kept staring at owner's son's photo, leading her to dig up the truth. Superstitions and omens must have some sort of truth behind them, considering that our ancestors believed them so much. Surely these strange and unusual predictions could not have come out of just anywhere. Things don't just come out of the blue, right? Well, we must have all heard about the fact that black cats carry a very twisted omen with them. They say you should never walk a path that a black cat walks across. So what about when black cats do other weird things? Like when this black cat kept staring at this boy's photo. If you're wondering who was the one responsible for taking in this black cat, well, it was actually Max's idea to adopt a cat. He told his mom that a cat would be perfect for their house since he was also a lover of pets, especially felines. Alex was almost done with his schooling and he had a plan for his future already. He wanted to join the US Navy. Since he had a single mom, it was not a quick or easy decision. The mother and son were close. Since it was mostly just the two of them, they spent most of their time doing things together. The single mom and her young son had been living together, just the two of them, for a long while. Since Alex knew that his time to leave home was nearing, he came up with an idea. Since things were going to change soon, he knew that having a pet might make things better. If you live with someone for so long, you get accustomed to each other. Even as a big family, you get used to being around and coexist like that. Any new addition to the family would feel weird and would also take some time to get used to. When Max told his mother, Aaron Nimrichter, that he wanted to adopt a cat, she was a little apprehensive. The thought of owning a cat was something that had never crossed her mind. So Max had to do a little persuasion in order to get his mother to be on board with the idea. He told her that a cat would be quite helpful during times he'd be away to boot camp and his deployments. He knew that a cat would be able to keep her company. Erin also had a boyfriend who had not moved in yet since she wasn't ready for that. So she finally agreed with her son and accompanied him to the shelter to fetch a cat. After some convincing was done, Max could finally get his mom to agree to get a cat for their home. So soon Max and Erin drove to the Cleveland Animal Protective League where they were to select a cat to bring home. The Humane Society had been established in the year 1913. This is a society that's committed to provide shelter and to be a safe haven for abused, ignored, and mistreated animals. Since the mother and son duo lived nearby, they knew that it would be a good place to find a cat that needed a home. The mother and son went to the Cleveland's Tremont neighborhood, where they were hopeful of finding the right cat to live with them. In this neighborhood, there were several animals that had not been placed in foster homes yet. So there they met with a cat by the name of Yuki. The cat that they met was named Yuki. She was a female kitten covered in silky black fur. She was a stray cat that had been taken in by the APL. That was the place she stayed in, waiting patiently to find a suitable adopter. So when they reached, the first thing that Max and Aaron took note of was how lonely she seemed. She stayed in her crate and looked as though she felt out of place there. Max and Aaron did not have any expectation when they got to APL. They just knew that they wanted to get a cat that they had a connection with. Max immediately got the sense that this cat was the one for them. And even his mom Aaron agreed. So after deciding that this cat was the one they wanted, they got done with the paperwork and brought Yuki home. As expected, she fit in perfectly with the duo. So when they took home Yuki, everything was well and good. She was happy to be with them, and so were they. However, the initial plan when they adopted Yuki was so that the cat could serve as a companion for Aaron when the time came for Alex to leave. But as fate would have it, the cat ended up forming a strong bond with Max. You could even say that Yuki the cat was obsessed with Alex, following him everywhere. And to make it even better, the love was reciprocated equally. Even Max was crazy in love with Yuki. He loved to spend every waking moment with her too. Max has always felt connections to any animals he was around, revealed Aaron. The kind of relationship that the two formed was truly something worth watching because it was pure love. But in the coming future, everything was about to change. The three of them had a special bond and their chemistry was truly undeniable. But after six months passed following the adoption of Yuki the cat, Max had been called to join boot camp that had to take him out of state. When he was getting ready to embark on his new journey, Max or Aaron did not think about their cat. They did not anticipate just how much it would affect their lovely kitty.
Since the three were so tight, it was clear that Alex's absence was going to affect the other two to a great extent, and obviously Yuki the cat felt very lonesome, and obviously Yuki the cat felt very lonesome and alone once again. Alex and Max had never expected that their adopted cat had been this attached to him. Never in a million years did they think the cat would act out in a strange and unusual manner after his departure. So when Alex had gone and left to join a boot camp, it was only Aaron and Yuki at home. Aaron missed her son so much, so she decided to keep a picture of him from his graduation day on her dresser to look at if she ever needed to see his face. After a couple weeks, when Yuki realized that Max was not about to come gliding in the doors of their home anymore, it was then that Aaron started noticing her strange behavior. We know how attached we are to our pets, and in turn, even our pets have a sense of longing and belonging when it comes to loving owners. Since Yuki and Max had such a strong connection, it was inevitable that there would be some after effects after he left. A few weeks had passed and Aaron would frequently find Yuki sitting on top of her dresser, staring straight into the picture of Max. If you saw your pet staring at a photo of your family member, would it not alarm you somehow too? She just sits there, stares and meows, and then lays down next to the picture to nap, revealed Aaron later in an interview. Since she'd never seen Yuki climb and sit on top of her dresser before, Aaron was obviously stunned to learn that a cat could actually recognize Max from his picture frame. Aaron had never expected a pet to be able to identify a human's face from a photo alone, so she was kind of puzzled and wanted to find an explanation if she could. Surely this case with Yuki was not one of a kind, that someone must have had the same experience with their pets too. She needed to know that this was not just a coincidence, that it was not just a lovely spot to sleep on for Yuki. So Aaron investigated. Aaron did not want to jump to conclusions. She was still a little doubtful in believing that Yuki could recognize Max from a photo of his. So she decided to play a little experiment on the cat. She then moved the photo around, keeping it on different pieces of furniture and various areas of the house. She was again surprised with the cat's response towards the prank. Yuki always managed to find the photo no matter where she placed it. After trying for some time, Aaron was fully convinced that the cat knew for sure that this was a photograph of her owner who she misses very much. I know for sure she misses him, Aaron exclaimed. Then Aaron was filled with pity and sadness knowing that it was going to be a long while before her precious son could get back home from his training. However, Aaron thought of a clever way to somehow reunite the loving pair. So after waiting for months, there was finally light that glimmered at the end of the tunnel. A few months had passed when Max was able to leave from his boot camp, and Aaron could now get and drop him a visit at his base. Since she knew that Yuki missed him a lot too, she called the base and asked if the cat could tag along. So would her son and the cat finally get the chance to meet once again after their long separation? After being away from family, it would be a joy to anyone if they got to meet with their loved ones, right? Well, for Max, the two most important people in his life were Aaron, his mom, and his lovely cat Yuki. After receiving the news that he'd be able to meet with his mom and his dear pet, he was over the moon. He'd missed his feline so much, too. At the same time, something worried him the same. My son worries that we don't remember him, Aaron claims. It's been various months that had passed since the duo last saw each other. The time that had passed was almost the amount of days Yuki had been adopted by Aaron and Max. A young cat such as Yuki might have a fickle mind and had easily forgotten about Max, her owner. But Aaron was convinced that it would be the case. It gives me comfort knowing that she does, she admits. Even though Max was apprehensive about meeting Yuki, what happened was the opposite of what he'd expected. Aaron later spoke about it, saying, and it's nice to have proof to show him. Both Aaron and Max could barely wait to be reunited once again, and living separately for so long. Until the time came for them to finally meet, Aaron has to entertain Yuki and keep her company. After investigating and taking a close inspection of Yuki's behavior, Aaron was able to come up with a few conclusions. Not only did the cat love sitting next to the particular photo frame of Max, Yuki loved the view from Aaron's apartment. She would spend a lot of time watching what took place on the streets, since she saw that the cat showed signs of interest in the outside world. Aaron came up with a plan. That was when Aaron finally decided to gift Yuki with her very own adventure backpack. You might be wondering what that even means. Well, it's a kind of cat carrier that has a domed window, enabling people to carry their cats on their backs. Yesterday was her first walk to the market, and today she went on her first bike ride, revealed Aaron excitedly. 
and their adventures were only beginning. This day came when July 13 happened. It was a Friday, making it one of those famous Friday the 13th days. This is a reference you'd get if you're a lover of scary movies and superstitions. Erin made sure this day would be a special one for both Yuki and her. She wanted Yuki's first Friday the 13th to be a memorable one. Honoring Friday the 13th with this spooky gale, she captioned on her Facebook post. Erin was someone who enjoyed watching horror movies. She knew that her precious cat would be the perfect addition to her Friday the 13th gear. Black cats are so creepy with their golden eyes looking all suspicious, she confidently remarked. You can easily tell that these two are slowly strengthening their bond in the absence of Max. They're there for each other when they need each other the most. As soon as Max got done with his boot camp, he'll be able to join the Navy. That will take away another six years of being with his loved ones. His mother and their adorable cat must bear their time alone once again when this happens. Max has his duties, which he needs to uphold, so his intention of getting the cat in the first place has proven to be a success. It's evident in the way Aaron and Yuki are living it up. We all know that sometimes, even more than other human beings, pets know how to comfort you and will be there for you when you're lonely. They may not be able to tell you or speak to you, but will always find a way to show you how they feel. It's beautiful to see that through the mutual love for Max, Aaron and Yuki, the black cat, can find a friend in one another. They have each other if at any point they miss Max. So how about we lit for you seven reasons why human and cats can share an unbreakable bond with one another. When a cat gives out a meow, it's not merely for display. This is how they hold a conversation with people. They're actually informing you about how their day went, questioning you about dinner plans, and when you can cuddle with each other. Cats will only meow to humans. They have this specific vocal expression for us. They only share this language with a person whom they trust and accept. Most of our pets never actually want to take pets. In fact, they detest the thought of being cleaned up. Therefore, it's a good thing to know that a cat possesses a cleaning nature. Cats have been programmed to clean themselves up and are experts at that too. Healthy and happy cats will always take care of themselves. 50% of their daily time will be spent on grooming themselves. A cat would take about 18 to 20 hours to sleep on a normal day. The amount of downtime they need is unbelievable. Cats are one of the easiest going pets you'll ever come across. They're perfect for one of those lazy Sundays where you just want to watch your favorite Netflix shows. A cat will just lie next to you and would not need much attention or attending. If you had a hectic day, having a cat would surely help you relax and unwind. Scientists have three reasons why stroking cats gives you a feel-good sensation. The first point is that they help you maintain a positive relationship with an animal, which ultimately gives you positivity. Secondly, your rhythmic petting will help both of you relax. Thirdly, this activity keeps you calm. The key areas for this lie between eyes and ears and between chin and cheeks. This is another good reason why one needs a cat in their life. They've been scientifically proven to let love hormone be released in humans. This neurochemical is also known as oxytocin. This is a hormone that gets produced when one falls in love. Oxytocin elevates emotional perception too. You can say that cats are capable of therapy in this manner. Cats are actually lifesavers, literally. This has been scientifically proven. Interaction with them can decrease the chance of heart attacks. It also lowers our blood pressure and helps in releasing dopamine and serotonin that act as mood regulators. These are also capable to reduce stress and better our immune system. Who would have known that these furry friends would prove to be so helpful? Though they may seem indifferent at times, cats really do love us. We must keep in mind that they just have a very different approach in the way that they show their affection. They're not like humans. They don't hug or wag their tails like dogs do. Cats rub themselves against you, will purr or meow to speak to you. Just make sure to cuddle with them whenever they need it.